Hi, my name is Stuart Matthews from the Proper DIY YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to waterproof a bathroom. You see, tiles are naturally 100% waterproof, but the same can't be said for the joints between them. So I'd always recommend waterproofing, or tanking as we call it, behind tiles in really wet areas like round showers or bathroom floors, just to make sure that if water ever does get through, it doesn't cause damage over time. Today I'm going to be waterproofing around my shower using this, which is a liquid membrane system that goes behind the tiles, that comes in the form of a primer, the main waterproof coating, some reinforcement tape for the corners, and also a mat if your shower tray isn't already in position. All of this gets painted on simply with paint brushes, but I do have to make sure I've got my PPE in the form of gloves and eye protection. This sort of stuff, you don't really want it on your skin and you definitely don't want it going into your eyes. Just one little tip, just make sure the gloves are waterproof. They don't have to be heavy and thick, they just have to be waterproof. That's why I'm wearing surgical gloves for this. So before we apply any of this, the first thing we have to do is make sure that the whole area is prepared. This type of waterproofing needs to be applied to a reasonably smooth surface. So any old tiles or grout needs to be removed and any voids or gaps need to be filled and allowed to dry. The first job is to apply a primer and for a shower the manufacturer suggests it needs to be put on up to at least one and a half meters high, my shoulder height, because below this is where the majority of the water splashes are gonna be, although there's no reason you can't go full height. And this first coat I'm brushing on horizontally. Once touch dry, I apply another coat, but this time vertically, and then allow this to dry. Now using the waterproofing material, I apply a strip of it in the corner on each wall so I can embed the reinforcing tape, which gives it extra strength in case there's ever any movement between the two walls. As well as in the corner, this tape needs to be applied to any joints of the boards behind the shower and any cracks you have in the walls larger than one and a half millimeters and around any penetrations you've got coming through the wall, like your hot and cold water pipes. It's a good way of reinforcing those joints and helping the waterproof compound bridge any gaps you have. Now when you get to this point, if you haven't got a shower tray already in position or you're waterproofing on a floor that could just move a little bit and give a little bit, this is where this mat comes into play. And you use it in the same way as you use the reinforcing tape. You put waterproofing down, you lay the mat on it and embed the mat between two layers of waterproofing. That way it means that if you do get any movement, the mat reinforces the waterproofing and makes sure that the water doesn't go through. I'm lucky that I've got my shower tray in place, but what I'm gonna do now is a little trick just to make sure that any water that does go behind the tiles coming down the wall ends up going into the shower tray. I first mask off the shower tray around six or seven millimeters from the wall. This is gonna keep the main part of the tray clean and leave a strip, the thickness of the tiles and adhesive for the waterproofing tape to stick to. And then using the waterproofing compound, I cover the area and embed some tape in the same way as I did in the corner. So it's just lapping onto the top of the tray, but won't be seen protruding from the bottom of the tiles once they're in place. With this fixed, I now give the whole area, including everything I've already done, a good coat of waterproofing. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. It's a continuous layer that fills in all the nooks and crannies, and it gives you a nice smooth waterproof coating. But before you do any tiling on that, make sure you leave it at least 24 hours to cure and dry off before you put any adhesive on that. I hope this helps with your bathroom waterproofing, and I will see you in the next video.